Doug as he spans the globe by sea, by land, and air to bring you the best of Figures in Action! There's your friends. <laughs> this is Director Doug at the Weekend Blender in Clovis, California at the Sierra Vista Mall 2019, and I'm talking to the lovely... I'm Gina, and also Closet Cause Online. Gina, you've been such a supporter and such a great person all around here at Cosplays throughout the Central Valley. You have incredible costumes. I need to ask you, you know, when most kids are born, they are born in a birthday suit. <laughs> But you are so incredible. I have to ask you, did you come out in a cosplay costume? I, I no, would... that would have been interesting. I actually started cosplaying later on in life. I uh, have only been doing it for, well, maybe maybe about five years. Uh, it was 2016, 17 to 19, so it was just a little bit before 2016. I'd say about 15 or well, so. Well, just coming out of your teen years. That was a perfect time. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to ask you this. When kids go to a cosplay contest, mm -hmm. and you are judges all the time, mm -hmm. what do you look for in a winning cosplay? Don't you want to know? Well, with cosplays, there's a lot of different features uh, and aspects that judges look at. Uh, generally, it's quality of the craftsmanship, but it's also presentation and if they're having a lot of fun while they're doing it. Um, a lot of times you'll see that you know it doesn't really matter whether or not they've made the costume, bought the costume, thrown it together, or did uh, additions such as mine is today. I did little additions to my costume. And uh, if they really portray the character well, that's what usually sits inside the minds of a judge and they say that person is having a great time cosplaying and they're doing a good job doing it. Like acting, can you say you're sharing the energy with you? Get Exactly. It's, it's portraying your character, really getting into it. Now, who should not cosplay? Who should not cosplay? Everybody should cosplay. That's the right answer. Everybody yes. needs to cosplay. Everyone needs to take an opportunity and, and dawn on a character and kind of embody that character for just a little while if you're not used to it. Just because it gives you an opportunity to portray characteristics that you may not normally be used to doing. Uh, I always say whenever I put on different costumes, sometimes I have a very proper costume and I have to be very straight and structured. Sometimes if say you're Harley Quinn, you get to jump and you get to have a good time, you get to be outgoing and eccentric. And then uh, sometimes like the Thor costume that I just had, or even Hawk Girl, I feel very bold and empowered and I get to be regal and strong. And sometimes, you know, you don't feel that way in your everyday life. But for a little while after you've donned on that costume, that's how you feel. And it really helps with the everyday life. Now that costume, do you make your own costume? As much as I can. Uh, I'm not the best seamstress and uh, most of my friends know it. In fact, I got a couple of... Uh, my cape last time needs a lot of work, that's for sure. But uh, most of it is uh, like the, the armor pieces, armor. foam building, uh, creating props, things like that. That's my feature. I love building that stuff. So things you can't do, you have friends that help you? Oh yes, cosplay friends are the best. Anyone who's open and willing to assist you with costumes, I love them. They're the most wonderful people. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to doing next? Ooh, I have a good friend named Benjamin Salisbury, and he and I are collaborating together to turn him into Gimli the Dwarf from The Lord of the Rings. And I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and so the idea that I get to make one of my favorite characters with him, he's going to do a lot of the sewing, and I'm doing mo like the, the, the armor plating, and we're collaborating with lots of different things. I cannot wait to see him in his best. <laughs> well, neither can we. Now, how do we get a hold of you and see what you've, else have you've done? Well, most of my costumes are on Instagram. It's uh, Instagram at Closet Cause. And then I also have a Facebook account, and that's The Closet Cosplayer, because I started off basically whatever I could find in my closet, ripped it apart, put it together, and then just now it's evolved. And that's what it's about. So C-L-O-S-E-T is closet? Closet cause, cause at C-O-S. Yeah. Oh, genius. Just like everything else you do. You're too sweet, Doug. It's never too sweet, but certainly appreciative. <laughs> and I thank you for your time, my dear. Doug, it's my pleasure. Anytime. Okay. We'll see you later at the next con. And... You are... Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you there, too. Gina, Closet Cause.